it's degrading, actually, that we should have to go through this um, every so often. 36 years after his 11-year-old sister was killed, Rick Hintermeister fights to keep Carrie Hintermeister's killer locked up. Bradford Gill was convicted of aggravated murder. He was a Sunday school teacher and a neighbor on Meadow Drive in Hamilton back then. Investigators say he stabbed Carrie to death and let people think she was missing. Rick remembers Gill, a father himself, helping search. They scoured the area. Then Rick saw Carrie's body in Gill's garage. I hear I found her and I ran back in and I, I could see I could see the back of her. I could see the small of her back. I could see her uh, Ross Rams hoodie. Gill was up for parole in 2004, then 2013. Both were denied. Now he's up again, and Rick wants the same. Carrie's aunt, Gloria Loveland, does too. She hasn't forgotten that year. I do remember speaking to my sister on the phone for the first time and knowing that our family would never be the same. Gloria says Carrie had a bright future. You visualize what her life may have been like and what we have missed and what was taken from us. So does Rick, who stays strong in his faith as he faces this fight time and time again. All those things that family is about uh, were stolen from me. And my poor mom. Now, years ago, Gil's own daughter wrote a letter to keep him locked up. And now Rick says that he and his mother have already been able to voice their concerns to the parole board. He tells me the date for that hearing is set for either the 26th or 27th of this month. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.